You love your house, but you're running out of space. What next? I'm here to show you that with some simple changes, you can free up loads of space, no matter what size your home. Seventy-five percent of us would work from home if we had the option. However, over a third of us say our homes lack the versatility we need. I'm in Whitehaven to meet singer and therapist Cindy. She's about to move her boyfriend and champion bowler Ben into her two-bed end-of-terrace home. She thinks she's running out of space, and I'm going to show her that she's not. What a lovely location you have. Thank you. It's lovely, isn't it? Happy here? Absolutely love it. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. The views, I love it here, but it's just a little bit too small. It sounds like you better show me where the problem areas are and we'll see if we can sort them out. Yeah, let's go. So, first up, Relly's coming to stay. My mum and sister, they live in Newcastle. When they stay, we've got, like, a blow-up bed <laughs> in the corner there, and I, and I feel really bad, but they have to stay in here. It's also a home office and where Cindy prepares for gigs. One solution is to place a guest sofa bed downstairs, costing around £95. Or add a futon upstairs, but with just 84 square foot to play with, it would dominate. So I've got a design hidden gem that would be perfect. A fold-up bed, and this is what I'm going to do. Overalls are on, work can commence. So often, the case is not about the amount of space that you do or don't have. It's about how you use it that makes the real difference. What was happening in here was just far too much. It's a good-sized room, but just badly arranged, badly used, badly furnished. So what the plan is, is to have a fold-up bed that can fold up against this wall and be out of the way and out of sight. Storage is going to go in either side of the bed. The wardrobe back here, perfectly serviceable wardrobe. All this crammed in, badly, badly used, badly arranged. So that can be hugely improved. The desk, I'm going to put the desk, a thin desk, near the window so Cindy can enjoy the view. So lots that we can do, quite simply, to really reinvigorate the space and, and enable her to use it in the way that she wants. It can be a bedroom and an office and a wardrobe all at the same time. Folding beds aren't just for trendy loft living or cramped studio apartments. You can use them to breathe new life into a second bedroom too. With the average cost of a UK home at over £2,000 per square metre, this is a simple solution that will get the most from our very expensive space. If you've got something nice, display it. Lots of Cindy's stuff looks great, so we've got storage to show them off. And finally, this 1960s-style narrow desk came from an antique centre and works perfectly. Next up, whenever your household grows, whether it's kids coming home after college or, like Cindy, when your partner moves in, you must embrace the new. Top bowler Ben has already brought his trophies, but they need a home. They're getting a bit neglected, I guess, you know, because they do, a lot of them do kind of just go in storage, you know, because we don't have anywhere to put them. Ben's biggest trophy usually stays back at the club, so I need a solution to display the rest. If you've got something nice that you want to show off, then by all means, keep it in the room and show it off, but it needs somewhere dedicated to put things like this. Just littering them over the floor is, is causing problems, um, which we can't allow to carry on, otherwise Cindy's going to get even more upset. One of the simplest things we can do is to add some extra shelving in this alcove, something you could tackle yourself with a little bit of time and effort. One, check the area is free of hidden pipes or cables using a metal and stud sensor priced from around £15. Two, measure the wall accurately so you know what size of shelf you need. Three, use a spirit level to mark out where the shelf and brackets will go. Drill into the wall, then, using raw plugs if necessary, screw the brackets in place. Remember to use the right sort of screws for your wall. 4. Slide the shelf into place and screw it securely to the brackets. Job done. But since this unit will be displaying Ben's pride and joy, I've called in carpenters Josh and Greg to help construct something really special. We're building a bespoke unit that will make the trophies stand out and also give Cindy and Ben some extra storage space. 
Just a few days ago, Cindy was crying out for more space, and that's exactly what I've given her. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, it looks huge. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wow. All my shoes are out. <laughs> oh, there's a card. Oh, champagne. Let's have a look. Oh. I hope you love your new home. Now it's as versatile as you. Love, Phil. That's oh, nice. that's so nice. I've added a few other space-saving ideas that I know Cindy will love. <gasps> Look at my cases! Yeah, they're cool. <gasps> I've basically given her two rooms in one as the bed folds up easily. But it's not just the bedroom that's been transformed. Ben's trophies are off the floor and on display. Cool. Oh, that's dead cool. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I love the colour. The wall has been given a facelift too. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Yeah. Cindy and Ben are bowled over. That sounds like a win to me. For my money, I think we've freed up in total an extra 35 square foot of space and upstairs feels like Cindy has two rooms in one. Ben and Cindy are thrilled with the results and I think there are three things that we can all take away from this. When you say that you haven't got the room, Think about it. Make flexibility your friend. Create the space. If you've got nice things, get them on show. Books, handbags, shoes, they can all be mini works of art. And thirdly, if someone else is moving in, you better embrace their stuff, for better or worse, because it's their home too.